got grow at the quarterback position. And I think they need to bring someone else in. I think we've, we've seen this flavor with Scott Linehan. Now it's time to change it up and see what else is out there and see if Dak can grow with that. Well, and, and from afar, seeing this, I know Darren's got the Dallas perspective, and that's, and that's unique, but it seems like let, let's get off the sort of train about Jason Garrett and not being there. This is, this is a commitment to Jason Garrett. I mean, this is when, Bill, you can correct me if I'm wrong, a head coach, we got problems. We're not getting rid of you. We need to figure out what's going on internally, and maybe we can get further by eliminating a coach and bringing someone else in, fixing a certain piece, but it's yours to tweak, and you're the one, you're the main voice that's going to be leading the charge. I think that's absolutely right, and Jason Garrett is a very good offensive mind in his own right. He was the Cowboys offensive coordinator before he was elevated to the job, so I'm sure he has firm convictions on how he wants things run, and I think you'll see, even though Jerry will be involved and Stephen Jones will be involved in the hire, Jason's fingerprints will be all over this. It was unusual during the season they made a change. They yeah. changed well, their offensive line coach. It seemed like, you know, yeah. more changes were bound to and not only that, we saw Chris Richard come in as a defensive coordinator, basically calling the plays on, on a week-to-week -week basis. And we, we saw the youth, the young guys on that football team make those, those leaps. We saw Leighton Banderas in his rookie season. Jalen Smith really make those leaps and bounds. And Chris Richard had a lot to do with that as far as his communicate, ability to communicate and let, allow these guys to play at this high level. And I guarantee you that's what they're looking for as an offensive coordinator. They need to make that change moving forward. I wonder what the... Were there any differences because watching the playoff loss, I mean, I'm watching the defensive side of the ball and I'm watching C.J. Henderson, I'm watching Todd Gurley yeah. run up and down on the field on them. So that's the lasting impression. That's the last thought you have as a coaching staff, as players. It's like, how do we get that fixed for the next time we have to possibly run into the Los Angeles Rams? Uh, this is the offensive side of the ball that they've decided to fix. So maybe this was something that needed to be done. Uh, yeah, don't we forget things that don't need fixing our Zeke, right. Amari yeah. Cooper, tight end needs fixing, but that's personnel. Mm -hmm. And the offensive line, when they're healthy and they get the center back,